Wow, the guy that did the shooting in New Mexico and was shooting at random people had access to over 1,400 rounds. Um, some on him, a lot at his house. There were seven houses that were impacted by rounds fired by the suspect. There were 11 vehicles to include a fifth wheel RV that were impacted by rounds fired. There were five other injured vehicles, victims vehicles that were struck by gunfire. They left and took themselves to the ER and treated, were treated themselves. <clears throat> there were approximately 176 rounds that we are aware of at this time of casings that were located of, of caliber 223. 141 of those rounds that we can show at this time were fired from the residence of the suspect. The empty AR-15 was left at that location and the suspect then obtained the 9mm and the 22 caliber firearm and moved south towards the church. We're still finalizing the number of rounds fired, but at this time the best uh, information that we have at this time is that the subject fired at least 18 rounds from the church in the volley of fire exchanged by the suspect and law enforcement officers. The suspect engaged officers and was killed in front of the First uh, Church of Christ at 713 North Dustin. One of the questions that, that was asked yesterday was how many rounds totally, uh, how much ammo uh, was available to the suspect. And to the best of our ability, it's over 1,400 rounds uh, were either on the suspect and he, had used, and he had used them or they were still in some of the weapons, and we'll talk about that in a minute, or they were inside the house uh, that, that this all started from. So the suspect had access to uh, a, lot of, a lot of ammunition. Uh, there were also 10 other weapons of various calibers uh, that were at the residence. Um, Why would you need so much ammo and so many guns unless you were doing or looking to do a shooting? The suspect had a rifle and two pistols. Um, but he had uh, access to potentially 10 other weapons uh, that were at the residence.